welcome to the Battle of Chickamauga. What's up guys, Goody here, and welcome back to the American Civil War mod. So today, we're on Chickamauga, back in 1863, and we're going to be playing as the Confederates. So this is not a scenario battle, uh, but a custom battle. Uh, so I'm going to be in command of the Confederates. Now the rules for this battle were two artillery max, and max one cavalry. So trying let's take a look at our army comps let's slow it down so we uh don't get annoyed by the music we have the campers brigade regular infantry uh we have the texas brigade in the mix uh they look very similar uh very very nice units though uh but moving down the line we have more regular units uh more campers brigade and we have the armistead brigade as well uh moving down the line more armistead brigades we got the georgia brigade or regiment, excuse me, uh, and just a ton of more units. So, uh, in total, I'm probably in control of about 2,000 men, and they are all under my command. So, we're going to be marching into combat. Ton of units. So, let's take a look at my general. I have brought Henry Heath. He's going to be running with the artillery, not to mention the cavalry here. We have a Confederate Cavalry Battalion, and they are going to be consisting of over 100 men, a ridiculous amount of troops, and they're going to be running towards the center of the battlefield. Uh, so taking a look at where I'm going to be positioning my troops, uh, they're going to be towards the center section of the map. And what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and control this forest and force the Union soldiers to cross this open field. Uh, just because, you know... Forests do protect your guys. They're kind of like a sandbag, and they just block a lot of shots. Uh, so that is my goal. Uh, you can see Union artillery actually hiding right now, uh, but the rest of the Union troops are pushing up. This is only a fraction of the army that is showing right now. It looks like they are state militia and volunteers. So this section of the battlefield uh, consists of some pretty weak Union troops, and uh, I am hopefully able to break through those lines so uh, I am actually outnumbered in this battle and that's actually <laughs> not a good thing so I'm gonna be defending my side of the battlefield and forcing the Union forces to attack Union artillery getting their first shots off and they're actually trying to target my own artillery uh, now these guys are extremely elite artillery pieces they have over a thousand range uh, so incredible distance not to mention some really good reload speeds and good accuracy so all of the things that you really need in an artillery regiment they are all right here uh, so interesting move here by my cavalry I'm going to be spanning these guys out as thin as possible and that's going to limit any cavalry or artillery bombardments uh, to kill a lot of my guys so you can see just how thin they are here comes another artillery barrage from the Union artillery and I'm just hoping they do not hit my artillery as they do push up to try and get in range. So we're going to continue to fast forward, waiting for the battle to commence. Another volley coming in. And look at that, an artillery piece is already down, so... Down to three artillery pieces, that is never good. The Union soldiers are definitely cheering after that shot from one of these cannons. So you can hear the rest of the Union troops marching through the forest. They are hid hidden, excuse me, as of now, uh, but they are right about here. Now taking a look at the far left flank, we have Cutler's Brigade. They're going to be pushing up on the far left flank, my right flank. And here is the first Union general, looking very, very nice, very classy. And then far, in the far, far back, we have another Union General, and here he is. So, rules for the Union armies. Uh, one army is only able to attack me at a time. Uh, there's going to be a 15-minute wait until the next Union army can advance, and that's just going to allow me some even odds against uh, the Union. 
Uh, so here I go, pushing up my cavalry, and I'm hoping to get some good shots off on the artillery piece. And uh, luckily I have not lost anyone, but there is the Union lines. They're going to be engaging me from afar, shooting from horseback, but the Union lines are going to return fire and try and mow down as much cavalry as possible. Uh, only one, losing one guy though, so not that bad. Uh, but soon my numbers are going to start dropping fantastic volley from the artillery. And just like that, down to 85 men. And after seeing that devastating volley from the artillery, not to mention all the Union lines firing, I'm going to pull back. Now I have killed only three guys. Uh, it's definitely better than nothing. Uh, but not really worth the uh, risk of sending my troops up like that. Over here we have some conf your Union cavalry. I'm going to try and get some shots off. Actually killing one guy. Now I am trying to shoot canister into these lines. Actually killing two there. So not a bad shot from this artillery piece here. And uh, I'm just waiting for the rest of my lines to form up. So I'm going to have a strong, very, very strong right flank. And then a present pretty decent sized left flank and that's going to be consisting of I believe five units so I have my other artillery piece now pushing up and I'm definitely worried about this Union cavalry I see him on the move here and I want to make sure my cavalry or my artillery is safe from him so I'm going to try and run my lines up as soon as I can and try to protect my guys and I'm going to constantly be moving my general around making sure the morale is strong for the confederates and over here my guys are hidden for the enemy forces and uh, I'm just marching them so they can be fresh as well as hidden so more union lines are being shown now we have the Vermont Brigade more Cutler's Brigade and they are running towards my positions right now Union General close behind making sure his men are following his orders but the battle is soon to commence. And I'm just trying to get this other artillery piece formed up and uh, engaging on the enemy forces. So we'll, we will see them unlimber and engage the enemy. So turning around the horses and getting the artillery set up. And hopefully we can get some pretty good shots in. So we will see them turn the battery around if they are smart and know where the enemy is. And I have no doubt they do, so hopefully they do turn it around. So there we go. Actually firing in reverse. What are you doing? What is going on? He actually killing their own... Alright. Bravo to the Confederates. Shooting their own guy in the back. What is wrong with my artillery? I never have luck. Good luck with my artillery. So not only one guy died there, uh, but I think some other special guy died over here. Trying to locate his body. So already down two confederate troops. Not good at all. My guys here are also getting pounded. Uh, but I am causing a lot of damage to the Union troops. I see a couple bodies here and there. Uh, but we're going to fast forward and wait for this action to commence. You see Union soldiers just waiting. Uh, in some pretty thick lines. And are, are just waiting for the order to attack. And you can see in the distance my... My uh, Confederate soldiers, pretty well hidden too. And uh, they are waiting for the order. So my battle lines are very, very long. Uh, pretty much extending uh, almost uh, to the edge of the map. Uh, but definitely very, very spread out. And here goes the Confederates and Union troops now engaging. Starting off on the far right flank. Uh, and it looks like he is going to be attacking. So in that first volley, I did not kill any Union troops. But hopefully I can draw some blood in this next volley. He is actually going to be falling back. And he did manage to kill one Confederate soldier. So first loss of life on the right flank. And here goes the rest of the Union troops reforming their lines. And you can hear more hidden troops are over here. Look at this epic field right here. Union troops are going to have a tough time crossing this cornfield. 
And you're definitely getting closer to my position. So once again, going to be fast forwarding. And I'm actually going to be extending my flank here, seeing that he's going to be pushing me pretty hard on the right flank. I want to make sure I have a secure right flank so I don't have to worry about it later on in the battle. So reforming my lines, the engagement is about to commence. And, uh, Confederate troops not really getting any good visual of the enemy forces. But they are definitely across the fields. They might be able to see some through the thick crops, but uh, hopefully they can get engaging soon. So fast forwarding a little bit more. Look how far these lines are. I'm actually going to be sending over my cavalry, but here goes the attack. Massive push by the Union troops crossing the fields right now. And they're going to be getting in range of my lines. So there goes my line of infantry. Complete. <laughs> ton of smoke. Uh, but not too many losses in a return volley by the Union troops. And a decent amount of kills. Nothing crazy. Uh, both sides are taking losses, though. Some straight volleys are hitting my cavalry. That is not good. But we will see how effective my lines are up against the Union troops as they do assault my positions. I did try to overpush here with my troops, uh, but actually there is a lot of troops coming out of hiding. This is actually the state militia now pushing up. And they're going to be engaging my guys. So there we go. Some more volleys being fired into my lines. <laughs> Trumpets blaring. Now the gunshots are starting to kick in. But a very, very epic engagement. You can just see how many units are actually engaging right now. I'm actually going to be pushing up my artillery, so my goal here is to try and get some canister in on those Union troops in the back. Now, these are only the first wave of Confederate or Union troops. Uh, there is a second wave that will be pushing shortly. It looks like a Confederate cavalryman actually died all the way up here. Very interesting. I guess it was on uh, trying to assault this... Union artillery, but here comes the Confederates now pushing down the hill seeing that uh, their flank is somewhat exposed Artillery ripping shots in the air But the intensity is really starting to pick up now. You can just hear how many guns are actually being fired Beautiful volleys, but here comes a cavalry charge Will I get canister is the question, and look at that, devastating, ripping through the cavalry. I got one more canister volley coming in, and it shot just above, and the cavalry does make it to my artillery. Morale for the cavalry is pretty bad, but so is my artillery piece. I'm trying to turn my lines around to try and face them, uh, but my confederates did end up breaking. And now we have some Union Cavalry on the loose. And it looks like he's going to be charging into my next Confederate line. I'm going to try and counter charge. There goes the counter charge. But Union Cavalry definitely doing a lot of damage. I do notice this, but not too much I can do. I'm actually going to be shifting over some Cavalry. And they're going to be shooting from horseback as well. Union Cavalry now really starting to take a beating. Getting overrun. And losing a ton of guys. So 17 men left in this unit. Got two lone guys engaging. Will he be able to kill him? I'm not too sure. But here comes my Confederate Cavalry to the rescue. And there goes the Union Cavalry. On the right flank you can see my uh, horse artillery running. Routing from the battlefield. Saying hi to the Union lines as they do pass by. And uh, I think the Union troops do have some respect for this guy, not shooting him, so uh, very respectful here. They're getting very close to Union lines. But, uh, oh no! Union soldiers having no mercy, actually killing him. That is not good. So with that engagement being done, I am left with only one artillery piece now. 
I do have my general here. He's going to try to keep the morale high. And look at this. These guys can shoot from horseback. And Henry Heath, he's going to be uh, in charge of a lot this battle. Making sure everything goes well for the Confederates. I'm actually going to be pushing up my artillery. Or I did push up my artillery. Just so they wouldn't shoot any more uh, trees. That was a disaster. And uh, I'm just getting very unlucky with my artillery placements. And uh, just getting charged into. So right now I'm thinking of a big push here from my troops. I'm actually going to be trying to charge up the sill. And hopefully cause some damage. So here I go. We have Union artillery completely devastating my men. Uh, but the biggest part of this push is going to consist of my cavalry. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and engage Union line of infantry uh, units on the sill. And there is actually a lot hiding here. And you see them starting to come out of hiding. And uh, I'm going to be forming my guys up. We have the Texas Brigade leading the way into the engagement. They're going to be facing the 14th Brooklyn, the Iron Brigade, and some volunteers. So definitely going to be a hard engagement, not to mention more line of infantry units are being uh, discovered. But my assault is slowly and surely going to begin. So pushing even further up the hill now. And I know I need to break through the Union lines in order to be successful. I know I'm supposed to be defending uh, on this battlefield, uh, seeing that I am outnumbered, but I need to do something to hopefully turn the tide. And uh, risking this center flank or center is uh, definitely something I need to do. So pushing up the hill now, uh, I have a clear visual of the Union lines. And they're going to give me a warm welcome of <laughs> just lead shredding through my guys. Thankfully, uh, the Yankees can't shoot straight. And hopefully, my guys can do a little bit better of a job. So, not bad shots from the Confederates. And here goes my cavalry. So, my game plan is to charge in, have a very thick line so friendly fire does not occur. And I'm actually going to be trying to charge into the weaker units. So, I see the volunteers here. And I might be able to break them. So my charge is about to begin. Uh, engagement is pretty much all over the battlefield right now. Got my regular infantry up against the Brooklyn. Look at that blood squirt as they do fall. But here goes my push with the cavalry. 65 men. Beautiful volley. But they are going to be taking some losses as they do cross this field. But I need to get into... You know, melee combat and charge in. Losing the officer. Down to 59 men. But here goes my charge. Getting up the swords and charging straight in it to the volunteers. You see the blood just squirting everywhere. We do have a reserve line here of Union troops. But it is definitely not enough to stop this Union charge or Confederate charge. And here comes some uh, more troops. Got the 24th Georgia. Some guys getting shot as they do. Uh, charge in, but right now I need to break the center. Cavalry not looking too great, so sending in my line of infantry to try and finish the job. Volunteers not looking good right now. Red morale, and they do end up breaking, so fantastic push by me. Another charge continuing. Volunteers now trying to counter charge, but breaking before they can make it to my lines. And the Union troops are just getting absolutely slaughtered, uh, slaughtered and overrun. Another volunteer unit trying to reform his lines. Another cavalry charge here. And they're going to be getting some shots off, killing a couple guys. And the Union troops are definitely feeling uh, the Confederate heat. And uh, just pretty much ganging up on these guys. I know my men are tired. Uh, so I am going to be pushing in my general for morale. Uh, but a massive melee engagement. Over here, another massive one. Now, I need to be cautious because there is a lot of Union troops in reserves. They're going to be doing a lot of damage. And there goes my cavalry. Now, I really need to break this volunteer unit. I still have two line units engaging on this flank. And some fierce fi fighting is going on. But my morale is not looking too great. Seeing that the uh, Confederate cavalry did break, it's going to bring the morale down just a little bit. Fighting with no bayonets is definitely a struggle, having to use the bunts of the guns. 
or the butt of the gun. And here goes another Confederate unit. And I'm hoping these guys can break Confederate morale looking very weak, and they do end up breaking. Uh, but I'm going to be taking the place of that unit and another cavalry or line charge here. These guys are running off into nowhere. So I need to break this volunteer unit. Very bad morale, and they do end up breaking. I'm going to continue that charge, making sure they are shattered, and then retreat to safety. So they are gone from the battlefield. And I'm going to still continue the charge onwards into the Iron Brigade. And hopefully I can help out the Texas Brigade, which are, is definitely suffering a lot of losses. Uh, hopefully these guys can hold up. And uh, it's definitely pretty hard to see who is who. And look at that, the Iron Brigade did rout, and they are breaking from the battlefield. So just like that, the flank is starting to crumble for the Union soldiers. And right now, my main objective is to break this Iron Brigade. These guys are some pretty elite troops for the Union soldiers. And I'm trying to break them, make sure they are shattered and will not come back. Sending in more regular troops, and hopefully I can cut them off. So charging in there. I'm actually going to be sending in my own general. He's going to be getting some action as well. There he goes, charging in. And now I'm going to be reforming my lines. Kemper's Brigade up against the 14th Brooklyn. 14th Brooklyn, though, trying to go in for another charge. My guys are tired. His are active. The Brooklyn seemed to be winning that engagement. So I did shatter the Ida <laughs> excuse me, Iron Brigade. So I'm going to be shifting over to the next unit. And that's going to be consisting of the 14th Brooklyn. And there goes the 14th Brooklyn. So fantastic job from the Confederates. Only losing two units in that entire engagement. I think it was very effective. And uh, definitely showed the Union soldiers what these Confederates are capable of. Now I made it in just the nick of the time. Or <laughs> in the nick of time. Uh, because as you can hear. There is a lot of Union soldiers in this force. And they are marching up on my position. So got out of there at the perfect time i'm actually going to be reforming my lines as for the center though things are still continuing i am starting to take a beating but so are the union soldiers you see the bodies are starting to mount up but you would think being in a cornfield they would lose a lot more guys than in a forest but these lines are very 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 long so over here i'm going to try and get some flanking fire with my skirmishers and hopefully start to do the same on the far right flank. So I have lost my cavalry regiment. They did come back from the battle, but I really need to shift them over to the right side. Uh, but I am not paying attention right now. Instead, I'm going to be shifting over my artillery piece. They're going to be taking up positions where my old artillery was. And uh, that's just because this position right here, uh, they can really overlook the enemy positions and get some really good canister volleys in. Uh, so... Skirmishers doing a really good job, killing a lot of guys. Cutler's Brigade actually going to be kiting back, making sure their flank isn't exposed. You can see my skirmishers over there getting some really good shots in, but they are not in skirmish formation, and that is going to cost me a lot. Uh, but with him kiting back his lines, it's going to allow me, my other brigade, to push up and hopefully get some good shots in. Another push here by Union soldiers. His artillery is actually going to be pushing up too. And he might try to get some canister on my uh, Confederate troops. So I'm trying to get these guys unlimbered as quickly as possible. I want them firing on to the Union positions. And these guys look like a sitting duck right now. If I'm able to get canister here, it is going to be absolutely devastating. Morale on the right flank is starting to suffer, and uh, I am not in light formation, so that's going to cost me a ton. I'm actually going to be falling back 209 against 203. Uh, I am slightly outnumbered on the right flank. You see my units are a little bit more spread out, and the Union soldiers do have the advantage here. Uh, so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to get some canister volleys in. 
on these Union lines uh, and hopefully break them. But it looks like he's going to be retreating. We'll see. Those volleys just out of range. And look at this. We got some <laughs> Union line infantry or uh, artillerymen pushing towards the uh, Confederate artillery. They might want to be joining or switching sides and joining the rebels. We will see if this guy continues his push. Getting very close to getting shots. But look at this. What a brave soul. Seems like the whole entire uh, unit for the Confederates is firing on this guy. It looks like he's going to be turning around now since he's not welcomed here. But the question is, will he die making it back? Very brave of him to do that, but uh, very pointless as well. I'm going to be walking back. <laughs> they have some very big balls. But over here, great charge by me. Actually charging into the Cutler's Brigade. He was trying to charge into my skirmishes here. But I did catch him off guard with... Uh, my confederate troops and they did shatter the cutler's brigade so not doing a bad job on this right flank and it's going to allow me to flank around even more so these guys are gone from the battlefield they're going to be heading back up north and routing with a lot of troops too you see only losing about 106 guys as for my cavalry not paying attention they're actually getting shots here so i'm going to be falling back even further seeing that there is a lot of union soldiers coming in i'm going to be falling back on my left flank i need to rest these guys up they are winded and listen to those union lines fire we have weeds brigades here two weeds brigades and we have some french lines here They're going to be helping out the Union soldiers. But right now, I am not looking bad on this right flank. You see three units up against one. Odds are definitely in my favor right now. But morale is starting to get to me, seeing that my general is all the way across the battlefield. And he needs to be moving over. You can see Henry rocking the mustache, looking very nice. Uh, let's see, does he have a gun? I think he does have a pistol, but that is it. And there goes my Confederate artillery. Gonna be getting canister into these lines. A lot of Union troops are going to be dropping. You see them in the distance reloading their guns. And we will check out this devastating volley that will soon unleash hell on these Union troops. So here we go. About to fire their shots. Ripping holes through the Union lines. So once again, another Cutler's Brigade is going to be flanking around or shifting around, trying to protect the flank. And they do have some pretty solid numbers, so I won't be surprised if they do hold. As for the center, things are too close to call. But a big push here by the Union troops running down the hill right now. And my uh, Confederate lines trying to get some shots in as they run down. Uh, but the hill is saving them. And he will have the hill advantage over me. See, now my Confederate troops will be able to see them. More Iron Brigade. And once again, another cavalry charge. But the question is, can I get Canister in once again? Or will, be, be, will this be the same fate as it was previously? Canister, great shots into the Union Cavalry. But once again, getting to my artillery. And a second canister shot being fired. Artillery barely holding on, getting slaughtered. But the question is, will they survive? And no, they will not. This time, Union Cavalry uh, being much more effective and actually having some men left over. But for some odd reason, he's actually going to be retreating back. And he did shatter before he can cause any more chaos. So once again, another unit is down. And that means I am completely out of artillery. Uh, Union lines do hold this one artillery piece, which is still very healthy. 
now they're going to be trying to get canister volleys in. As for on the far right flank, the engagement is still continuing. Four against two, not to mention some more reserve troops. We've got the 20th Maine Volunteer Regiment. These guys are going to be a reserve unit on the right flank for the Union troops. And we have some sharpshooters here. They did come back from... Or actually, they didn't even come back from the battle. They are just entering the battle. Here they go, holding their imaginary guns. Hopefully they did bring a weapon. Uh, but as for right now, they're carrying absolutely nothing. Maybe they have it tucked in their pants. Who knows? Cutler's Brigade still holding on very strong on this left flank. Skirmishers trying their best to keep up the fire rate. Not to mention uh, my other Union or Confederate line engaging. Good trade off of the volleys. Both lines suffering very heavy losses. So even though the Union troops do hold the hill advantage, I do hold the forest to an extent. And I'm still falling back on this left flank. You see right now outnumbered 6-2. to two. Not good. And over here, right flank, morale is suffering. Sharpshooters getting very close to or Union lines. Getting a couple of kills here and there. But much more effective from this range than uh, further back. That is definitely for sure. You can just hear the rumble of muskets being fired. They're definitely holding this cornfield very well. Uh, and that's, you know, partly due to the fact that they have a ton of more units. Maybe not in this region, but over here, uh, they do slightly outnumber me. So, interesting move here by me. I'm actually going to be charging in the skirmishers. Probably not the best idea. Uh, but the only reason I did that was because my uh, confederate lines here were getting very bad on morale. And this is a big, big mistake by me. So, you know, skirmishers breaking on their own. Not to mention a point-blank volley from the Union troops and a counter charge. And that is going to definitely hurt the morale of my confederate troops. Got the flag bears holding on. There goes one flag bear. And look at that. Another confederate unit has broken. Going to try and commit another charge here, and there goes another confederate unit. So, just like that, losing three confederate units. And now the Union troops have the advantage on the far right flank. So, I have pretty much no other option right now other than to send my general over. That is pretty much all I can do at this point. And just pray I can get this state militia unit back. Even though they are a militia unit, you know, having them, you know, in the presence of the Union troops is going to definitely help out my morale. But pretty much everywhere on the battlefield except for the center, and even the center maybe, uh, I am losing this battle. So you can see Confederate troops are starting to inch up. You see their battle lines where they're started here, pushed up, and now they are here. So really pushing on me now. Same as over here, forced to retreat back. And my guys are under some heavy fire as they do retreat. Losing a lot of guys. But they are trying to get back to the rest of the Confederate lines. Looks like uh, Kemper's brigade did make it back onto the battlefield after breaking. And same with the state militia. So now I might be able to flank the Union soldiers once again and test my luck, but four on two here. Law's Brigade taking a lot of losses. But nonetheless, odds are still, you know, actually in my favor. That is very interesting to see. Uh, I am, you know, pretty much losing out, but still in my favor. Over here, state militia starting to lose a lot of men. Same with the morale. 
down to red morale, and I hope I can break them. I definitely hold a strong position in this forest. But definitely taking a lot of losses. General now starting to arrive on the far right flank. See my battle lines used to be here. They have been pushed back slightly, but the Union troops are continuing to push in, and once again, another big push by the Union troops, getting even closer now. Same as on the far right flank. They're going to be running down from the sill onto my position. So, Weed's Brigades here. A lot of Weed's Brigades. We got the 20th Maine, and we have the French. I'm going to be using the road. And there are my confederates all the way across the battlefields. Only two units, very thin lines. And you can see I'm starting to shift my battle lines over some more. Uh, because I'm just getting overrun on pretty much every side. And you can just see how close the Union troops are starting to get to my positions. Maybe 50 yards away now. And this means the shots are going to get a lot more accurate. So the amount of losses will start to increase. State militia now being sent over to the right flank. They're going to be engaging Cutler's Brigade once again. And hopefully they can get some revenge for what they did to them earlier during this battlefield. So taking them a pretty long time to form up. That is just because lots of my guys are pretty tired. They've been fighting this engagement for a very long time in my center now. Center and left flank is starting to collapse. Feeling the heat of the Union soldiers, they are breaking from the battlefield. So, 24th, Georgia, and uh, Kemper's Brigade did break, but I do have the Texas Brigade here. And hopefully they can make me proud. So, 190 men. We will see how much damage these guys can do. But over here, desperate measures right now. 138, this unit 189, and 113 up against 189, 203, 150, 187. And here it goes a charge. They're charging into Union positions, getting desperate at this point. And I need some good luck. So I'm hoping my uh, rebel troops can win out. They did actually break here. I actually broke the Confederate troops and the Union troops, uh, but the Union troops did win out here. I did lose two units there, same as on this flank. Getting shot in the back now. Miserable push. These guys just got absolutely slaughtered as they did try to charge in, and as a result, they're going to be getting shot in the back. And they are shattered too, so they are not coming back from the battlefield, so... Easy counter from the Union troops. It looks like some of my Confederate troops running the opposite direction with the state militia. And they have uh, pushed through and are running back. Uh, so we will see in another unit now routing from the battlefield. And I am getting very desperate. So I'm actually going to be charging in my own general here. Not to mention Law's Brigade. Red Morale. Point blank volleys from the Yankees. Look at that blood. Devastating. And then my general here, hopefully he can make it out alive. Here he is. Staring death in the face. Union troops missing their volleys miserably. Point blank. Now it looks like they will show some mercy reforming their lines, but hopefully my general can make it out in time. Running, or it looks like to be walking... Uh, away. But the Union troops just very, very inaccurate. Unable to kill him. It's he might be able to escape all by himself, running away with Law's Brigade. And these guys are done. It looks like he will make it to safety. So very interesting to see that. And look at these battle lines now. Only two units remain. We have the regular infantry and the Texas Brigade. 
Texas Brigade is going to be engaging the French. And I have to admit, Texas Brigade not doing bad at all. Flank exposed on two sides, maybe even three. And they are holding on stronger than ever. Keeping up the constant firepower. Just devastating the French lines. Only 150 remain for this unit. The rest of my guys are routing from the battlefield. These guys do have a chance of coming back. But seeing that the rest of the army is breaking as well, things might not work out that well. So the Texas Brigade does break. Now it's just down to the regulars. So they are running from the battlefield. 140 men left. And there they go. Oh, that guy got shot in the head. running for their lives. Whoa. This guy is very pale. I think he needs some more sunlight. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Anyways, the French pushing onwards. Get the Iron Brigades. More volunteers. And now it's just down to my regulars. Last unit left on the battlefield. We're going to fast forward. It looks like my Texas Brigade did come back. Regulars, though, taking a brutal beating, losing a lot of guys. You see blood squirting everywhere. And there goes the Texas Brigade. So, or excuse me, regular brigade. So, it's just down to the Texas Brigade to hopefully win this for the Confederates. And we will see how brave these guys are. They're actually going to be charging in for a melee engagement. And here it goes. The Union lines forming up. Con Texas Brigade pushing in. Red morale. Will they make it is the question. Union troops blowing their trumpets. And before they can make it to Union lines, they did break. Now they're gonna get shot in the back as they do retreat from the battlefield, and that is the game. So around, you know, 9,000 troops, that's actually a ton of troops. Uh, I was in control of 3,400, and uh, I was pretty much up against maybe 6,000. Uh, but very close game. No, well, not close, but uh, in terms of kills, it was pretty close. Uh, I got 1,700 kills. Uh, the enemy Union troops, 169. This uh, army was a reserve unit, uh, so he was barely able to show off his uh, force. And then we have the other uh, Union line unit, or army, and uh, he was doing the majority of the attacking. Uh, so nine, you know, almost 2,000 kills and uh, losing 1,600. I... <laughs> Myself getting 1700 kills and losing 2100. Taking a look at the unit statistics Armistead Brigade on top 240 kills. Fantastic job from those guys. Uh, they were actually in that melee assault on the uh, at the start of the battle on the far left flank. They did a really good job at cleaning up the uh, Union lines. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to join my Steam group and my Discord for any future notifications or uh, replays I might need. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys later. So